what's going on everyone watching tesla's price action here so currently sitting at 11 o'clock pacific standard time here now today's been a little bit of a choppier session we've been with inside of a range here but ever since putting in that opening range low to around 263.80s tesla's made a nice recovery up five points on the day now if we're looking for any sort of continuation here on tesla we're going to need to confirm this move that's closed back over the 20 sma here getting over 268 68 and then from there it potentially could have some legs to run that's exactly what i'm looking at here for the short position if the market does want to sell off into the close below 266.50s is the next level i would be looking for here and again going to be a little bit of a choppier move could come down into the 265s make sure you want to take some profits there and then 264 as well and then try to clean up that position before 263 if it happens but again just watching this move here kind of ever since the reclaim of this 20 sma and the 200 sma you know we kind of put in this high to 268 we've pulled back into the 200 and now we're trying to bounce off yet again so if we can get going here over 268.35s 268.70s that's something i would be interested in potentially for a little bit of a scalp here see if we can snag a dollar maybe dollar fifty two dollars off of this off of this name here so again you know futures on the nasdaq side have been going sideways here look at the 200 as well as the 20 day uh, moving average pretty much flat right we're not getting any clear indication to the downside we're not getting any clear indication to the upside right now the bulls and bears are pretty content with the where the, the price of the stock the price of the the overall markets here now again anything could change we can completely flush into the close here or we can definitely rip into the close here but until we start to get over some of these ranges here you know don't expect too much here right so if i kind of just look at the overall nasdaq 100 and kind of look at this range um you know you can see look at look at the top hand range here we never really broke over the pre-market highs over the 15895 we've never really broken down below 15800 so essentially we're trading within a 90 point range here on the nq which is absolutely nothing the nq right now is sitting plus minus 10 plus minus you know five essentially going nowhere um you know flat on the day so we're really going to need to see something happen here or confirm one of these bottom this bottom range or the top range before we get anything going here